Michelle, thank you. Helene's approach is unsettling for people who remember how the remnants of Tropical Storm Fred devastated Western North Carolina in 2021. Laura talked about it. Let's show you. That storm caused deadly floods and mudslides in communities, including Canton and Haywood County. WRL's Chelsea Donovan is live with how swift water rescue teams are preparing to handle possible historic rain. <laughs> Yeah, just a few moments ago, Chris, about 30 firefighters, EMS and rescue crews left this training center here near downtown Raleigh, and they're headed six hours west to Waynesville. Uh, that is in Haywood County. You can see uh, one of the boat teams here is just getting ready to hit the road, heading that way where uh, they will start their, uh, you know, necessary precautions and staging uh, for the next week in that area. Now, we were there this morning as they loaded up their tractor trailers, their boats, and all of their tools and baggage for this six-hour trip. They plan to stay a week assisting with the local municipalities in structural rescues, but all, also water rescues if needed. Now, these teams are made up of Raleigh firefighters, Durham firefighters, and teams from Chapel Hill as well. They undergo extensive training for these types of disasters and realize that time is of the essence, especially in a mudslide or water rescue situation like we've seen in the western part of the state. And people, you know, they may need medications, they may need food, and when they become uh, isolated in an event such as a flood or a mudslide, it becomes very timely to access those people and evacuate them, and we have that capability to do that as well. All right, you may remember Tropical Storm Fred that inundated the western part of our state three years ago. That's the last time that these teams uh, deployed to that area, so they're going back again. And we should mention these crews are incredibly self-sufficient. They're carrying their own meals, their water, uh, medical assistance, as well as possibly sleeping in tents if they have to. Of course, we'll be following their journey and bringing the latest uh, coming up at 4 on WRL.com. Live in Raleigh, Chelsea Donovan, WRL News. Yeah.